Jesus Christ. Kitty Cinderella blatantly changing answers based on yay nay in chat. Clipping on his VOD now disabled. It's best you do not months. continue and on I'm LSF to avoid stunlock. Where are the first Olympic Games that took place? Shit, I didn't know that. Pregnant butt finance wants to impregnate your butt. Oh, it's because it's the city. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, motherfucker. I was like, why isn't it fucking Greece? Like, I don't see city, boys. Look at that. Took place in future Pregnant Turkey. Yeah, the cheese. answer is Constantinople, right? Just kidding. It's a future Turkish capital, bro. Bro. Uh, 1453, bro. Best year of my life. Take one for the team. Damn, people are like super serious about this. Cutie Cinderella blatantly changed the answer based on yay, nay in the chat. <clears throat> Gotta love that post memeing on the drama while Sherlock Holmes over here almost solved this immense crisis. Disgusting cheater thieves like this pleb have no place in the high class maximum efforts prestigious events. <clears throat> Months Wait, did she? Or... But she didn't even get it right. So who gives a fuck? Poke forgets his RP name minus one. Belinda, Belinda, to you. <clears throat> yeah, sit down. Sit down. Belinda, what's going on? Okay, say hi to Bill. This is this is my no. husband, Bill. Bill. Bill, what do you need? Bill. No, you're my husband. Future. Bill. Sorry. <laughs> so dumb. Sorry, honey. Sorry. Uh, anyway, what do you need me to do with the computer? You tell me. Minus one. Okay, minus... you are in front of the computer. Okay, ma'am. Into your computer. Yes. Uh, can you tell me, like, which browser? Minus one, minus one. Twitch bans hot tub streamers on official channel. Oh shit, what? Hold on, am I allowed to click on this? What is this? What? What did they ban? Hot tub streamers? Your message wasn't posted due to conflicts of the chatter. Oh, oh, dude, thank God these guys are doing the, the brave work of writing hot tub streamers on the Twitch official channel, dude. They're doing a great job. Bill Dipperly gets tech support. It loses it. Like, I, I don't know. Okay. Folks. Yo, straight up. Genuine question. Okay. Genuine fucking question. Like, what do they want? Like, do they want to, like, ban hot tub streamers or something? Is that what they want? Like, is that when... Is that when Twitch is going to be, like, a safe space or something? Like, what? Just watch the fucking VOD? What do you mean? The VOD of what? Oh, 
Bro, I legit don't fucking understand it because, like, dude, I. Like, yeah, it's fucking sexual content, but, like, it's sexual content, but it's not, like, pornographic in nature. Equal treatment because people get banned for less of the take. Yeah, but that's idiotic. Then fucking literally ask Twitch for more leniency, not the other way around. And I agree. I think that they should have more leniency. I think Twitch as a platform should have more leniency with respect to like accidental nudity and stuff like that. I just don't understand why people are upset at seeing a little ass and titty. I like asses and I like titties. If I'm, you know, if I see a little ass and a little titty, it's good. What's up? I asked my friend why he doesn't like hot tub streamers and he said it's self-explanatory. Then said it's the principle. The principle of what? You don't want to see ass and titties? Which is bad, so it should be bad for everyone instead of asking Twitch to fix itself. The kind of audience that it brings to the platform are cancerous for other girl streamers that are not looking to sell their bodies. Just ask any non-thought girl streamer about their experiences since this all started. Yeah, but then you should be asking for moderation on the chatters. Like, Twitch should have a better reporting system or something. Better way to IP ban motherfuckers. But no, of course... It's not the chatter's fault that they're horny. It's the fucking thought. My man said non-thought. What a fucking bold and brave champion of women's rights over here. It is remarkable to see the, the brilliant, bold, brave, beautiful champion of feminist causes. Non-thought. You know, just like the non-whores, dude. I mean, most are whores. But some of them are like not as whorish. Why won't they fuck me? Not all the women. <laughs> uh, what if a minor does it? I know, dude. Oof, you fucking destroyed me. And it's bad. And wrong. And should not be allowed. <laughs> Fucking mind blown, dude. What? Dude, but Hassan, I don't understand. I don't fucking understand, dude. How could you say it's okay when an adult does it, but it's not okay when a minor does it? Why are you thinking about not minors in bikinis funny. doing hot tub streams? You fucking weirdo. What are you, a libertarian? Why well, have two monitors if not to watch Hassle and Four Hot Tubers? And relevant. I think you are ring since a misogynist handsome guy can get laid easily. It's all about looks. Personality is but a cope. Sag. Dude, what happened, dude? Did, did Israel Palestine bring out the fucking weirdo, like, incels in the community here? Like. <laughs> they are exploiting Twitch and its users. How? How? Your takes on this never end up on LSF because it goes completely against the LSF uh, uh, rhetoric on this subject. I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think other people think it's a big deal. It is a bit low effort in the sense that like you're just being hot and getting money for being hot and sexually desirable, but so are a lot of people. What is the metric to figure out like what amount of hotness is available or, or, or acceptable? Like when Canute does uh, his sexy ass fucking gym streams, like, should that be allowed? 
Is it okay that he's cultivating an audience of, uh, you know, horny men and women that I want to watch him, uh, you know, flex his muscles? He wears tight tights all the goddamn time. But even though it is technically less effort to do a hot tub stream in the sense that, like, you're, you're not, like, constantly striving to be entertaining, it takes a fuckload of effort to look that good. So in that sense, it still takes a lot of I effort. This Ultimately, the way I see it is... One dude said she isn't going to notice the way I see it is, like, it doesn't matter. Like PTA moms who wouldn't let us smoke weed back in the it day doesn't matter. They're not harming anyone. It's who won Janet. LSF, the way... It doesn't go against LSF. It's just that your take is trash, LMAO. <laughs> okay. I think it's weird to do this in front of fucking kids. Okay. That's why they have an 18 plus gate. Also, on top of that, if we are to start talking about what should be allowed for all children all the way up to, or all the way down to the age of 13 to see, then that is not going to be a fun conversation for like 98% of streamers, including myself. Because virtually no fucking streamer with the exception of like offline TV streamers and even they don't fully abide by this no hassle, you uh, additional uh, rules and guidelines sexual to the end pornography are nopers. technically advertiser friendly by virtue of the type of content that we do because we're live for fucking 12, 13 hours at a time or good behavior for fucking 13 year olds to see. You can't turn around and be like hot tub streamers are actually terrible for 13 year olds because they might end up accidentally like seeing it or bypass the fucking paywall or bypass the age wall and see the hot tub streamer in a titty uh, versus what like what I do or what XQC does. Like, is that good? Is that good for 13 year olds to watch? No, it's entertainment. Seven months, holy moly. There are other women on this platform who don't support the hot tub streams, namely the people on the Housewives podcast. Are they smelly incels too? Oh, not everyone that says, uh, not everyone that's anti hot tub uh, meta is a smelly incel. But I disagree with them. <laughs> like, I disagree with this notion that, like, hot tub streamers are, um, like ruining the platform or doing them worse for the platform or, you know, doing something that's like nefarious or exploiting people or anything like that. And I also disagree with the take that like a kid doing a hot tub stream. Yeah, that's fucking terrible. No one is saying that the hot tub streamers aren't making like sexualized content. Okay. Like, zero people are saying that hot tub streamers are not making sexualized contests. Like, they are. As a matter of fact, I think that's why people are so frustrated about it. Because it's, like, sexual and they get away with it. Actually, that kind of explains why some people get upset. Because they say it's the hypocrisy of it all. Or some people get sh uh, banned for showing, like, accidental nudity. But others can get away with, like, doing full-blown hot tub streams and stuff like that. I just feel bad for Daph, Melina, Cutie, uh, etc. Have you seen the harassment they get now? No, that's fucking horrible. I, I do. And the reality is, fuck all of those psychopathic, horny motherfuckers who are constantly like, do a hot tub stream, do a hot tub stream, do a hot tub stream. Okay? Those people are fucking assholes. But if you think... If you think that, um, what is this? Society has failed men. A Sigma male, also known as the rarest male. Who okay, we're going to do this in a, in a second. Um, we'll look at this in a second. But uh, the people that get mad at like hot tub streamers uh, creating like this audience, you doing good I think forget that it's the chatters that are fucking being toxic and objectifying women. Okay. You shouldn't even objectify the hot tub streamers beyond the point of comfort and 
objectification that they themselves are accept uh, like they themselves are fucking allowing like for example let me explain and i do this a lot so if you watch a hot tub stream because you think someone is hot yeah go ahead but if that same hot tub streamer then i don't know has a completely separate take on let's say the israel palestine conflict okay you being like, oh, dude, you're fucking hot tub streamer. Fuck you. Get back in the hot tub. Shut up, dumbass. Like, well, that would be if it's in a totally separate uh, context when a hot tub streamer is like talking about something like that. Well, then you're objectifying them and reducing them to being sexual beings at a certain point. Someone can both simultaneously be a sexual person, take advantage of uh, ownership, take ownership over their own bodies and even sell it at times if they would like to. That does not mean that their opinions are uh, no longer valid or important. They could also be brilliant. Now, a hot tub streamer could also be dumb as fuck too, simultaneously. Don't get me wrong. So don't point to like any sort of fucking uh, idiotic takes from hot tub streamers that you're going to be like, well, bro, go ahead. What about this take? I'm not saying that like, uh, a hot tub streamer is always going to have good takes or not. Okay? If Twitch is going to allow explicitly sexualized content, then they shouldn't ban people for accidental nudity. I agree. We are on board then, my friend. But that's not what people are saying. Feel me? problem is it scares away advertisers when they see sexual content and harms the platform overall it doesn't harm the platform overall you just snuck that in there unless you mean like it scares away advertisers and if it scares away advertisers what are you jeff bezos you think twitch you like where does this take come from i i think devin nash probably said some shit like this and that's why people are saying this but like i find it really fucking weird when people are like dude it scares away potential advertisers like Oh, I didn't realize you were a part of the fucking uh, Twitch platform. Like, I, I didn't recognize that you were Jeff Bezos. Like, I, I didn't know that uh, you cared about, you know, the monetization opportunities for the platform or some shit. Also, Twitch literally advertises, like, sexualized ads and shit. There's ads for fucking condoms. There's Victoria's Secret ads. Like, what the fuck do you mean? Show pussy banned for three days. How's about that? I don't think that I don't think that you should be banned for accidental nudity. Like I think it should be way more lenient. I ask for like more lenience Come here, rather than Here's your I ask for more lenience rather than being more my little punk champ. Um, being more aggressive. His girlfriend is a hot tub streamer. You think I have a fucking girlfriend? I wish. I wish my girl, I wish I had a girlfriend who was a hot tub streamer. Sex workers deserve to be platform for their sex work, not their opinions. What? What? I'm confused. What does that mean? It's opening them up for a lot of harassment from people who are looking for the content that they aren't willing to offer. Just keep the porn on the porn sites, entertainment on entertainment sites, just ban them. Is not a real solution. Just make 18 plus section like Africa does, 2-2. Two, two. Okay, but again, you are faulting hot tub streamers for the inappropriate behavior of chatters. Also, it's technically still not even hypocr hypocrisy because like while the content itself is sexualized in nature, I think part of the reason why Twitch can't yeah, fucking yeah. clap down on people who are clearly towing the line on purpose is because what do you want them to do? You want them to start banning people, banning women for fucking being in a bikini in a pool? Hi, K-pop girl. I love you. He's talking about Devin. Devin Nash's girlfriend is a hot tub streamer. No hassle. You are dead wrong, brother. Can't use platform for children's sexuality or pornography. 
Okay, dude, can you stop? Just, I'm sick and, I, like, nothing fucking makes me cringe as much as, like, literally eight-month subs who are so desperate for a crumb of attention that they literally try to copy-paste, like, idiotic fucking takes in the chat just so, like, I will respond to them and acknowledge their existence. Stop being pathetic, dude. Seriously. It fucking makes me so mad. It makes me more mad than the actual genuine idiotic takes. Like, oh yeah, lol, I baited you by literally pretending to be a fucking moron. Kids paying cameras are right on their tits. Not bad. Nice take. Kids should pay sex workers. Good take. Like, first of all, this notion that like fucking when uh, I, if I had access to the internet at the age of 13, like I'm absolutely fucking, I'm absolutely fucking uh, taking advantage of that. Okay. Ask. So that's ridiculous. So like, you're not upset at like kids being able to see fucking sex work on the internet. You're upset that it's like happening here in your fantasy or in your mind. And like, what happened? Actually, what happened? Don't we blame streamers for the toxic viewers and enabling their toxic viewers? How is it different for hot tub streamers? Because hot tub streamers themselves don't want their fucking audience to go and like yell at other women to be like, can you become a hot tub streamer too? On its face, it would literally create less of an audience for them. So even from a competitive point of view, I don't think they want other people to be a fucking hot tub streamers. They want less hot tub streamers. So that's one. Two... Hot tub streamers themselves don't want fucking to be objectified outside oh, of like spiny. whatever the boundaries of objectification that they're comfortable with. Like, I'm sure that, uh, you know, they still want to be respected outside of like uh, what they are providing in the form of entertainment. So pretty sure that they would not think that that is acceptable or want to be subjected to it themselves. It's not as simple. Just say you're a coomer and move on. Um, I am. Does XQC go around saying to be toxic or is it because he himself is toxic so his viewers go around expecting yeah. people to be like him? Wait. Are you fucking stupid? Are you fucking stupid? Do you think that like hot tub streamers are creating other hot tub streamers? Because that would be the actual equivalency here. Not that... Hot tub streamers are creating an environment of people expecting other hot tub streamers. You must be stupid. Is are people actually fucking are people actually baiting? Or do I have this many psychopathic puritanical cringe lords in my fucking community? Eleven month subscribers. Five months free Palestine. Do you think moderating chat better will actually happen? My only concern is that these hot tub streams might make it harder for women to succeed on this platform than it already is a result of these chatters. And I'm not sure if moderating chatters is an actually tangible solution Twitch would even consider. Isn't it about what type of community Twitch are trying to cultivate? I don't even, like, okay, I, I don't even understand us. this because we have fucking nudity and we have sexualized content all day, every day on literally everyone's fucking platform. 2D booba, 3D booba, okay? The only thing that we don't have is 4D booba. Like, the same fucking chatters that lose their minds about hot tub streamers are the exact same chatters that are like, oh, I'm confused. Violence in video games okay, but when it's fucking gore on the platform uh, in, the, in the form of like one fucking brief snippet, in a documentary and it's not okay? Fix your shit, Twitch. Why are you guys being such fucking conservative freaks about this? It's so weird. And then it brings out, out of the woodwork, the fucking psychopathic swerves, dude. Here it is. 
Here is the fucking swerf ass take. Four months sub, Camille Abigail X. Porn is extremely unsafe for its women, unsafe for women, and is the commodification of bodily autonomy, which should be against as a leftist. Yeah, dude. Leftism is when you're anti-sex work, and the more anti-sex work you are, the more fucking uh, leftist you are. You're right. Okay? That's the beautiful part about this, is that, like, hot tub streamers, for some weird reason, bring out this, like, incredible coalition of some of the most, like, fucking idiotic, uh, uh, bastardized, like, third-wave feminist uh, radlib takes with who are some of the most toxic fucking radlibs on the planet, okay, swerfs, and, and they bring this, like, unholy alliance between them and, like, weirdo yeah, incels, the for the news. okay? The things other female content creators get upset by and ban viewers for saying in their chat doesn't even fly in hot tub streamers' chats. They get clapped there for saying the same shit. Yeah, probably. Maybe I should just like watch Ben Shabibo or something. You know, porn is rotting people's brains and it's bad. And sex work is bad as well. Like fucking men don't do sex work or like trans men and women don't do sex work. It's just like only white women do porn and it's bad for only white women. It's commoditizing white women's bodies. Like, how about people so want to fucking make money off that and enjoy doing it? Internet. I don't know. Don't want an abortion? Don't get one. Don't want hot tub streams? Don't watch them. All the irony, of course, is that, like, you can before the fucking... Libs. Before the uh, hot tub meta, we act like there wasn't fucking weirdo incels already that behave this way literally all the time. Yeah, dude. Men only learned how to be horny by seeing less women on cl uh, less less clothing on women, dude. Like men used to never uh, sexually assault women before uh, uh, women were were dressing more conservatively. Thank God, you know we must return to Sharia in this regard. Yeah, OnlyFans, Patreon, yup. They just started saying hot tub instead of OnlyFans or Patreon. Literally tits and dicks on Rust when you streamed it, but freak out when someone is in a bikini. Just go mask off chatter so you don't like how much money they're making. <laughs> if there were two new streamers on just podcast. chatting, one booba hot tub streamer with huge bazingas and one fully clothed streamer, who do you think will have more viewers if they were on equal playing field? Dude, this is so fucking stupid, okay? Because Almost one year here is why this is a self-report for literally everyone that fucking asshole. shits on hot tub viewers. Are you ready for this? Here's my fucking hot take. If you think this, then you think the only thing that women, whether they're like uh, women gamers or not, or fucking doing just chatting in general... The only thing they provide on the platform is titties and ass, no matter what the fuck they're doing. And it's unironically a misogynistic take. Like, why should the woman with the huge bazingas or the boobas actually have more fucking viewership? I mean, Pokey still is one of the fucking top uh, content creators on this platform is a woman. Like, she ain't doing no fucking booba. She's not doing any of that shit. And also advocating to segregate, like, uh, sex work... Versus like regular, uh, uh, regular streamers, like who decides? How do you punish that? Oh, sorry, you have big titties naturally, and uh, you didn't wear a bra today, so boom, you weren't in the sex work category. Time to fucking ban you. I love having this conversation because I think I, I, literally every argument is so silly. Why doesn't Twitch go big? Open up a pornography section? Because pornography websites are regulated entirely differently. For those of you who don't know, 
if you want to have this conversation, honestly, we can. So when you immediately fucking turn into a pornography website or have a NSFW slash pornography fucking uh, uh, section, then all of a sudden you will actually lose a fuckload of advertisement revenue. And you all of a sudden will actually uh, 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 get regulated differently. Payment processors need to be changed and everything like that. Unfortunately, because sex work is not treated in the same way as real work, despite the fact that it is, as a matter of fact, real work. A lot of you love cranking a hot one to some some nice little porn that you found, okay? A little bit of porn a rooney including Ted Cruz, as a matter of fact. Everybody loves. But we seem to hate the people that do it. Like, we love the porn. We love jerking off to it, whether we feel kind of dirty afterwards or not. But we literally just hate the people that do it. We don't see them as human beings. We just see them as, like, uh, an object of desire in that uh, point of time. And I'm not saying, like, every time you fucking lay some fat ropes, uh, I want you to think about the woman that was uh, uh, working in, in that pornographic scene or the man uh, or whatever you're into. But what I'm simply stating is like, well, these people have real lives and they're working. They're working in that situation and they're working so you can feel good. And ultimately, life is an endless sea of disappointments and then you fucking die. So if someone is making me feel good because they're getting fucking plowed, okay, and they're just taking it, and I'm watching the Gorilla Grip, Grip Coochie and I'm enjoying it and it gives me a tremendous amount of pleasure. I think I'm going to respect Just that respect person for work uh, okay. putting out that wonderful piece of work. Okay? That's my point of view. It should be your point of view as well. Now, having said, like the, uh, having said that, as far as the hot tub meta goes, it's not like actual porn. It's not, there's no areolas. It's not even technically, uh, it's not even technically softcore porn. Because I think softcore porn also shows like full titty, okay. And uh, any sort of regulation that is limiting in nature would make Twitch a worse place uh, overall. I, I I definitely think that you are being extremely manipulative, LMFAO. It's possible to be anti pro, anti porn, and pro sex workers. And their rights, not everything is black and white. <laughs> Wait. I'm being manipulative. It's possible to be anti-porn and pro-sex worker. Uh, I'm a vegan. Yes, I eat meat. Yes, we exist. Thank you, Cam Camille Abigail X. What do you think... What, what do you think porn is? Porn is sex work. Like, what the fuck is this? Did you get... What happened? Maybe you should fucking watch some porn and uh, crank one out, okay? Straight up. Because it seems like uh, you're, you're a little clouded in your way of thinking, you know? Just, just crank one out, dude. Dude, check 422. Have you covered the conspiracy theory that Derek Chauvin looks different than the guy who was in the court? It was viral on TikTok? No, but they're not saying they used the body double. The guy who arrested is not Derek Chauvin. What? Oh my God. Okay, maybe, maybe just cranking one out is not going to Poggers. save your situation. Never mind, Camille. Abigail X. Imagine Twitch chat at a water park. Maybe they're referring to the unethical practices in much of the porn industry, but there's problems in all industries under capitalism. Oh, 100%. Sex workers are the first people to tell you how fucking terrible the porn industry is in general. But uh, again, uh, that is not helped by making it a harder place or pushing uh, sex workers away or speaking of sex workers in, in dehumanizing terms uh, and uh, having an anti-porn take would literally... Uh, subject sex workers to further discrimination and allow them to be easily exploited once more by a, an unethical uh, an unethical porn industry. <laughs> Hot tub stream should be promoted for essential public service. They provide the porn deprived Turk and Korean young men. <laughs> True. 
Why don't Swerves ever bring up uh, a Camboys? I was a Camboy for years. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Imagine two male streamers, one fully dressed up and one with his huge bulgy walgy and a tight speedo being the center of attention. Which one do you think will have more viewers? I'm so disgusted with this platform. <laughs> I'm a woman who's faced the literal abuse that's in the top porn categories on Pornhub. What? Six months, Pog. Okay. You know, there's a difference between like consensual BDSM and, and fantasies and fetishes being played out and what happened to you. What happened to you is illegal and horrific and I'm sorry that that happened to you, but the other is like, you know, two consensual adults uh, engaging in a consensual act. That's kind of odd. Like... Four months, Pog. I mean, titty streamers can't have their cake and eat it too? What? E-girl gets brutally honest about shamelessness? What the fuck is this? This is an archive post? Seattle Surf, 14 month subscriber. Let's see what he had to fucking say about this. From Twitch streamers here, the top female streamers average view count over the past month, English language. Pokey, Lily, Loserfruit, Hafru, Daff, Loya, Hachu, Anita, Sasha Gray, Your Pelega, Brooke AB, Danucci, Ginny. The names near at the end of the list are 1500 average viewers. You can do well without being shameless if you got tons of entertaining content or you're genuinely good at a game. But being shameless with no content works too. And I'm sure it feels for her shitty. I'm sure it feels for her shitty when she ups the shamelessness and the numbers go up with it. But on the other hand, if she gets a few hundred subs viewers, even when not shameless, that's pretty solid. And there must be some people appreciating what she's doing. It's like any streamer that wants to do more innovative or creative content, but also knows that they pull in the best numbers by doing low effort Gordo or media share streams. If she'd like to get a bigger, if she'd like to get bigger without selling out and she's plateaued where you are, she's got to either up the quality or what she's currently doing, change it up a bit and get more creative or find new ways of promotion and bringing people in. There are so many talented newer streamers out there that would blow up if they got decent exposure. So I don't know. It kind of sucks, but I think everyone knows what being shameless can get, that being shameless can get you more views. Wait, this is Sasha Gray Papela. Yeah, fucking... If you think Sasha Gray is like a hot tub streamer, you're fucking delusional. The porn industry is horrible, so let's get rid of platforms where sex workers can engage in independent sex work. Yeah, exactly. Does Gordo mean cooking stream? No, Gordo means just like low effort content of like people watching reality TV, such as uh, what I do. There's nothing wrong with porn, but injecting it into every facet of our lives is wrong. There is over the top sexualization in every part, in every little fucking aspect of your lives. Okay. Literally every part. Go about your day. You're fucking fine. Uh, some might even say that the, the more innocent ways that that sort of sexualization is injected into your lives is, um, is, is perhaps even worse than, um, the sexualization that you know is happening in a fucking hot tub stream. I think it's about Indie Fox. Sorry, showing skin in a hot tub is being shameless. I think a lot of people assume that like any sort of act that is like, this goes back to sex work because i do think hot tub streams are sex work for sure but like the lightest form of sex work right where it's not exactly um how do i describe it it's not like uh it's not porn it's just like sexualized uh it's just like sexualized content right I sexualize my peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> I think sex should be more intimate and private. 
Okay, but that's your point of view. And also, they're not fucking on the hot tub streams. Like, you would literally not be able to do that. But I'm not saying that, like, hot tub streamers are not doing it to not sexualize themselves. Of course they are. I'm not one of those people who's like, every instance of nudity should... Like, every instance of nudity should be treated equally, and it's equally non-sexual. Like, that's not what I'm saying at fucking all, dude. Okay? At fucking all. Obviously, very clearly, what hot tub streamers are doing is lewd. It's not nude, it's lewd. Thank you, Cleric, for the distinction. You gotta ban the Seattle surf? Dude, look at his profile pic, not on screen. Wait, really? What? Why? But at, at him so I can see. Hold on. Oh, shit. Oh, this person, like, literally fucking... Thank you, chatter. No, no, no. They just literally made an account to fucking... It's just a dude with a dick. Thank you. Snitches? No, it's someone's dick. They probably made that so they can fucking try to bait me into pulling up their account. Seattle Surf. Oh, 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 oh. Never mind. Oh my god. That's kind of funny. No, not Seattle Surf. Seattle S E R F. S E R F. Not you, Seattle Surf. You're fine. At Hussein Abbey hot tub stream when? S-E-R-F. Seattle S-E-R-F has like a fucking cock on his PFP. I wonder if they just made their account. Hold on. Let me see this. As I. Real quick. Oops. Nah, they've been around since fucking May 15th, 2019. I was going to say, I wonder if they like made their account just now. Or maybe they just changed it just now so that they can. So that they can use it or something. Colon D. Seattle Surf, we're not talking about you. We're not talking about your profile. And I'm sorry to hear about uh, that about your dog. It's fun to I'm worried about hot tub streamers getting legionnaires disease. Still, room temperature water in an unventilated apartment is just begging for bacteria growth. <laughs> That's pretty good. Hot tubs are extremely bad for the environment. If I could offer devil's advocate, I think some people might be upset because a lot of people liked that girls could come on Twitch and not have to show their bodies like on Chatterbait, but still make money. I can see people being upset that by that line being crossed, but some people never like change. I agree with you regardless. I mean, I can see that, but I don't have a problem with like people making money by showing their bodies. Also, Twitch needs to create a system that doesn't affect advertising CPMs across the board, which currently doesn't exist. Again, is a silly take. Twitch needs advertisers. Twitch loves advertisers. Do you really think Twitch would allow an actual fucking monetization problem to continue? If it starts fucking lowering CPMs, or if advertisers start turning around and being like, yeah, I wanted to buy ads on your platform, but actually I saw some fucking... 
hot tub streamers and I no longer want to do that. If that was the case, every hot tub streamer would get banned tomorrow. Okay? If there is one thing, one thing that platforms like fucking, uh, uh, if there's one thing that platforms cannot fucking stand, it's losing revenue. Don't be ridiculous. Anyway, so as I was saying, I thought Twitch viewers were saying that ads ruined the experience, but now they're sad that hot tub streams scare them away. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Something about something about this doesn't make sense. And I think that what Don't doesn't make sense wife. is the true She's intentions that people have towards hot tub streamers. And I get it. I get where that comes from, where you're like, oh man, sexualized content just like rubs me the fucking wrong way. I can't really describe it. People I just don't rabbit. like it. Maybe some people have their own personal motivations. They just don't like that, you know, these people are able to fucking make money by just being hot. Some of them are like naturally fucking hot. Some of them work, but still. You know what I mean? It's just like, it just frustrates people. It's not new though. I just want to let you guys know that your feelings... They're not new. A lot of people feel this way. People have felt this way about sex workers for a very long time. Will told us about your text last night. Hassan just messaged me, bro. Invincible slaps fucking ass and titties. My God. It's true. It was oh really yeah. Wow. That's Jesus cool. Christ. That's some good friendship right there. Chill Cole 101. Wait, are you saying that hot tub streamers are sex workers? I mean, hot tub streamers are doing sex work. It's like super, super lewd. I mean, uh, super light sex work, but it's still sex work. Yeah, I think it is sex work. No, motherfucker. I think hot tub streamers are actually being watched because... No. Yeah, no. I think hot tub streamers are being watched because they're fucking, like, uh, I don't know, coding on the side. And people are like, wow, that's crazy. No, of course it's fucking because they're hot and people think they're hot. And, and either they're, like, jerking off to it or... They get off on, like, having uh, a, a sexy person who's, like, scantily clad give them the fucking girlfriend experience or whatever the fuck. But that's, it's psychotic. Of course, it is, like, somewhat, it is light sex work on the lightest end of the sex work spectrum. Gorilla Grip Coochie. 2020 LSF, Twitch rules are too Orwellian, 1987. 2021 LSF, Twitch needs to add Iron Fist regulation and punishment. Iron Fist regulation and punishment? This happened when body painting streams with the meta like two years ago? Yeah. Remember all those fucking body painting stream quadrillionaires, dude? What happened to all those body painting stream uh, millionaires, dude? They're really fucking killing it on the leaderboard. No, this happens literally every time like there's a new wave. Where people lose their fucking minds, okay? People lose their fucking minds, lose their shit. There's like, unironically, like an artificial boost to fucking hot tub. Uh, or, or whatever the meta is in the audience they cultivate. And then everybody goes away. Oh yeah, I missed the last hour's ad by 46 minutes, so I'm running it now. Holy shit. I got so stun locked. You just said they weren't sexual because they didn't show areolas. No, I said they're not pornography or softcore porn because they don't show areolas. I never said it's not sexual. Of course it's fucking sexual. I've literally been saying it's sexual. Just because you lack the processing power to understand that I am saying, yes, it's sexual, but it's not harmful ultimately. And it's not the same as like full-blown fucking porn or pornographic uh, material does not mean that I'm not saying it's sexual. I'm not one of those fucking people that's going to be like, oh, actually, hot tub streamers are being watched because, not because they're hot, but uh, because I don't fucking know what uh, some, some fucking over-the-top, like, uh, pick-me male feminist would fucking say, but 
I'm also not a Puritan freak. Ladies and gentlemen, the weekend is here and Arjan is still in this stun lock. Anyway. Wasn't there a problem with just chatting a few years ago? Yeah, when I first fucking got on this platform, there were plenty of goddamn people who were very upset that uh, there's dudes doing fucking politics and shit. Wait, oh, I wanted to see this first. Missed that because of stun locks? Yeah. Let's be real. You're not going to hear this point of view from most of the streamers. I don't know why. Like, they're just... It, people are just not happy with it. I mean, I kind of know why, but still. Here are some signs that you might be a Sigma male, also known as the rarest male who girls cannot resist. A lot of you might be Sigma, not even realize it. We live in a world of social hierarchy, where alphas are at the top, then betas get the leftovers at the bottom. But one more who is at the top is the Sigma. One key sign that you're a Sigma male is if you refer to yourself as the black sheep, which means that you've always done your own thing. Some of your family or friends may view you as weird, but really it's because they just don't understand you. Another sign, and probably the biggest one, is if is this person, is this person real? <laughs> Look chat, a new mail just dropped. Wait, hold up, dude. It, this person is joking, right? He's not serious. Like, this is funny. If you are naturally an overthinker, overthinking is constantly viewed as weakness, but the Sigma uses it for strength. It allows him to analyze himself, everyone around him, all of his experiences to the core, which helps him learn things that most do not. One other big sign that you're a Sigma male is that you talk a lot, but not verbally. It's your mind that's talking a lot. Which means uh -huh. that you're constantly in your head. Viewed by others, you may be mysterious because you don't talk a lot due to always thinking, which makes girls naturally want to be around you. Here are some signs that you. Hella real? The Sigma male man cave. How Sigma males approach women and make them submit. Why Sigma males are more attractive than Why alpha Sigma males are more attractive. Get alpha now. Bro, this is the dude that you get your fucking info from? Has this dude ever fucked? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? There is no shot. So, this is literally me? Oh my god, dude. Oh my fucking lord. Stay tuned. Leftists need to stop creating new genders this week. Introducing the Epsilon male. <laughs> yeah, bro, I don't believe in that. Fuck off, dude. I don't believe in that bullshit like astrology. Oh, I'm a fucking Sigma male, bro. Nobody understands me, dude. <laughs> uh, how about the Sigma male, dude? How about that? Y'all ever heard of Sigma male? Yeah, suck my dick. Making fun of his appearance. Weird champ. Okay, dude. Let me just say something, cool okay? Shit. Let me just say something. Listen, if you made a 13-minute video that's like advertiser-friendly, describing in detail like what Sigma males are and why they're more attractive than alpha males, it's not the way you look that's preventing you from getting pussy, my friend. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Like... Let me tell you something, okay? Look, I don't have the most sex anymore, okay? Let's just be real for a second. But having said that, I'm pretty sure women are not going to fuck you if you're constantly like trying to categorize like different types of males uh, all by like different variations of how fucking sexy and fuckable you are. Welcome to the Anthony Spay channel. Red pill coach? <laughs> what is this? Get ready for your daily red pill. Welcome back to the Anthony Spay channel. Before we get started, I want you to watch the entire video. If you like the video, press the like button at the end, press the subscribe button at the end, and press the notifications button at the end. Okay, why is he so close? Like, 
Why is he so close to the camera? It's, okay, I'm shutting off everything else. We're doing this. We're we're diving in. We're diving in, boys. That's it. Stone lock avoided. We are diving the fuck in, dude. Why is his face literally right in like why? I feel like I'm kissing him, dude. I've never watched a YouTube video that violated my personal space before I saw this. Oh my god. Wait. Is that the Sigma way? Bro, he's so close. I can't see his ears, dude. That is way too close. I'm just saying from a, from a cinematographer's point of view. Okay? Let's keep going. Okay. Today, we're going to be talking about why Sigma males are more attractive than Alpha males. Now, a lot of people didn't even know that Sigma males existed until last week. A lot of guys didn't, but a lot of guys did know. So. <laughs> a lot of guys didn't, but a lot of guys did know, actually. Wow. Listen, listen, dude. This man knows, dude. <laughs> He's got a way with words. Okay. We're having this debate in the manosphere about alphas and sigmas. Fuck, dude. I didn't get invited to the manosphere, dude. I didn't get invited to last week's Manosphere convo, dude. You miss one fucking week, and all of a sudden, you miss one fucking week, and all of a sudden, they, a new mail drops, and you don't even know about it. You see this shit? Fucked up, dude. Yo. So today, we're going to go ahead and break down the alphas and sigmas. Now, to most of you guys, your definition of an alpha male is a guy who has money, who has women, and who is good looking. Is giving me 3, That's what you've been damages. taught an alpha Let's male go. is. All right? What we're going to do is we're going to break down those little characteristics. All right? Can beta males have money? Yes. Majority of the successful men in the world are beta males. You have to understand. No matter if you're alpha, no matter if you're sigma, you're beta, omega, delta, zelta. Bro, this is the face of the dude who's like, unacceptable that there's hot tub streams happening on Twitch. <laughs> this is literally the manifestation of every angry Redditor uh, angry about the, the fucking hot tub streamers, dude. Look, look, this is like looking into a mirror for a lot of you in the chat. Wherever these mindsets are. Also, if they're like super successful and their beta is like, then that kind of defeat. I thought, look, maybe I don't know because I've been missing out on the Manosphere meetings, but I thought beta males were like losers, right? So if they're like super successful, then, then what's the difference between an alpha male? Like, can you be a loser alpha male then? Like, you're an alpha male, but like, you know, you, you just, you just suck. Um, mid towel, red pill, blue pill, it's all mindsets. When your mind change, so does the type of guy that- Why is he yelling at me? I can't stop pausing. Why is he yelling? It's just you and me, dude. We're just watching it. You're so close to my face and you're yelling. He is a close talker and he's a yeller. You can't have both of those at the same time. It's like I'm literally, if he was speaking a little bit faster, like Ben Shibibo pays, this would literally be just someone on Coke, okay? It's like, anyone. You are, all right? It's all about how confident you are to society when it comes to these different mindsets. But when it comes to the definition of them and what you've been taught, every man can have money and still be weak. Every man can have women and still be weak. A lot of you beta guys had women the women just use you. When it comes to an alpha male, an alpha male doesn't get used by a woman. Now, when it comes to good looks, how many beta males out there are good looking? A lot of beta males. So, when it comes to the money, when it comes to the women, and it comes to the good looks, they do not apply to an alpha male. Bro, am I the only one who's having a hard time just like looking at all of this, dude? Is he asserting dominance over me? Is that what's going on? Am I submitting to him? It's like hard to look at his face, dude. It's so in your face, dude. It's weird, bro. And the entire time I'm like, don't make fun of his teeth. Just don't do it. Do not do it. Do not. I'm just going to keep it real. 
I haven't made fun of his teeth, but like it is insanely hard for me to not like say anything. Okay. I got some crooked front teeth in the bottom too, but like I just would not fucking 